Hey guys and welcome to the Batcave. In today's video we're doing something a little bit different. Now in the past on this channel I have done unboxing and reviews of some of the McFarlane DC Universe figures. I did the ones from the Batman, so the Penguin, Catwoman, Batman and something else. Feel free to check those out if you're interested. But today we're going to be unboxing the Batman miniature game. Let's get into it. Before we get too far into it friends, I'd like to point out that this video is actually kind of sponsored by another one of my projects, the Tabletop Alliance. Now if you're into miniature wargaming or tabletop gaming, which I'm hoping you are if you are watching this video, then you may be interested to know that the Tabletop Alliance is not just a channel where we produce battle reports and other tabletop type content, but we also have a web store where we are selling custom miniatures. Not only can you buy individual characters and soon warbands through our website, but you can also sign up to our Patreon where you can get access to exclusive STLs every month or even physical minis. Or both. So I'll leave links to those down in the description. Make sure you check those out if you're interested. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually a massive miniature tabletop fan in general. I love Warhammer, I love the Middle Earth strategy battle game, I love D&D, I love all that sort of stuff. And it actually kind of managed to slip past me that this game existed. It was only upon doing some research when I thought, man, how cool would a Batman miniature game be, or just a DC miniature game in general, did I find this. And I come to discover that some of their models are absolutely gorgeous. Now this is the starter set, they have actually announced another starter set based purely on the Batman, which I have pre-ordered, so I'll go through that as well when that arrives, but for now let's unbox this and see what you get. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited as this box literally combines two of my favourite things. Batman and Miniature Wargaming. Let's get into it. So the company that makes these models and this set is Knight Models. I don't know too much about them, I don't think I've played any of their other games, but I believe they also have a Harry Potter game, which could be worth checking out if you're a Harry Potter fan. So straight off the bat, what do we have? Okay, so it shows exactly what models we get in the set, I'm assuming. So this is what I would assume is a Joker gang. It looks like we have a Harley hero model. And then on the other side we have Batman. What I can only assume is Harvey Bullock. And then some Gotham PD. Now, there's not too much in this set. When you compare this to like a 40k starter set, an Age of Sigma starter set, Pelennor Fields, well as we got Horace Heresy. They have a lot of things. And this looks like it's quite on the uh, small side. I'm assuming this is the rule book, which doesn't look too... No, it's not too hefty. Uh, I feel like an hour in the afternoon you could pretty much pick up all the rules there. So that makes a huge difference to what we're used to seeing again in Warhammer and other GW type games where you're talking a good week or two to read everything in that book. But I guess they don't have to include any of the lore or backstory in these because it's a tabletop based on another franchise and not a franchise created for a tabletop game, if that makes sense. We've then got a load of tokens... I won't lie, I'm not very experienced with tabletop games that require tokens like this. I know a lot of them are starting to do so, but most of my experience comes through Middle Earth and 40k, so... Wow, okay. Okay, so this is, obviously, if you're a 40k player or even a Horus Heresy player, we do have things like this. I'm guessing this is for a flamethrower. Range for a flamethrower. No idea what these ha-ha-has... Okay, I'm guessing these are movement rulers. 6, 8, 10. 4, 6, 8, 10. For bad guys and good guys, that would be my guess. No idea what anything else does, but I'm sh sure it's all explained in the rules. But either way, very nice looking tokens all the same. We've got a pack of dice, five blue and one white. Again, not sure why the colour difference, but I'm assuming that will be shown in the rules. We have some bases. The bases are concrete textured. They have like a brick texture to them, which is quite cool rather than plain ones. We have a pack of cards. Okay, let's get into these as well. I feel like the majority of people that are into tabletop gaming also tend to be into some kind of collectible or playable card game, such as Magic the Gathering or Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball, wherever it may be. So combining cards into a tabletop game like this is normally a pretty good shout for your audience. Let's take an example. This card is a showdown card. The first group to be deployed must only contain models with the leader, sidekick and or free agent rank. Okay, I guess these are like specific... Um, stipulations 
Okay, we also have actual data cards. So rather than having data sheets in the rulebook or separate codexes for character stats, we have them all here on these handy cards, which is very useful. Willpower 9, 8 endurance for Batman, 146 rep. I guess that's reputation. I'm assuming, again, that's a points equivalent. I'll need to read the rules to understand what any of this means, but I'm, I'm digging it. So how many characters do we have all together? So Batman, it is Harvey Bullock, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14. So there's 14 character models in this set. I'm assuming this is Batman, but I can't see his head. It all just seems to be cape. Okay, Batman's head is in a different packet. This is a, a little bit cheaper presentation and packaging than what I'm used to from GW products. I mean, all our models are in this. These four baggies, I guess you could say. But looking up close to the details, which I will cut to some close-ups, hopefully, in the video that you're now watching, you'll be able to see that they are nice sculpts, they are nice models. They have been, I don't know if printed is the right word, uh, probably moulded very, very nicely. There's some cool interactive stuff on the base with, like, gun. That's a grenade launcher. That's pretty cool. There's a Batarang. I'm very much looking forward to assembling this and painting them. My pile of shame for miniature painting is insane. I would assume it's somewhere between one and 2,000 unpainted models. Literally on my desk right now, there's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 unpainted models, just for example. It's getting out of hand. And that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to give you an idea of what exactly was in this box if you are thinking of buying it. And for many of you, like myself, but before very recently, may not have known that this existed. So I really wanted to give you guys the heads up that if you're into Batman and you're into maybe Warhammer or other tabletop games, this is out there. So if you're anything like me, you will be very excited by the prospect of being able to do some tabletop Batman games. If you would like to see some games of this played, then be sure to subscribe to the Tabletop Alliance. That is my tabletop gaming channel. I'm very unlikely to be playing games on this channel, even if it's Batman related. Unboxing it and talking about what's in the game is one thing, but for actual battle reports and whatnot and gameplay, go and subscribe to the Tabletop Alliance. And make sure you comment on a video over there, letting the Tabletop Alliance know that you'd like to see games of this played on the channel. Okay, that's it for me today, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this game and if you even play it already, what's it like? I have no idea. I've not played it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and return to the Batcave for more Bat content.